This guy's just like standing next to me. Hi, Robert Legend Thief. You want to be my friend? Ooh. <laughs> Hello everybody, this is the Chess here, and today I'm just making a quick video because some of the people that saw my top 10 mounts videos as well as the other countdowns were asking how I got the shots that I did and how I made it so that my wizard wasn't on the screen and none of this was on the screen. It was just kind of an empty shot. So I'm just going to do a quick little tutorial on how to do that so that you guys can also do it. So first things first is you have to make sure there are no overhead names. I turned them on just to show you because if you do the thing I'm about to show you, they will still show up and it will not look good. So all you have to do is go to your little spell book, go to your options, and go to the gameplay options and make sure overhead names is set to none. So that there are no overhead names, nobody has names, the pets don't have names unless you actually look at them. So make sure those are hidden. So after that, in order to hide all the HUD stuff, all you have to do is hold control and hit G. And that'll hide it, and then it'll just be an empty shot of your wizard and whatever's going on. And then to bring it back, again, just hold control and hit G, and there you go. So control, G, 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 G. So that's how you do that. So the next step is getting rid of your wizard. In order to do this, I don't really know why, but you do have to zoom in all the way on your wizard. So using your mouse wheel or pinching and zooming on a trackpad, just make sure you are all the way zoomed in on your character. You gotta make sure your camera is all the way up against them. And then all you have to do is back up until your character is off the screen like that. So just walk backwards until he disappears and then hold the right mouse button. So once again, Back up until he's off the screen, and then hold the right mouse button. Just hold in the right click. And then your camera will stay in that position without your character in view. And then you can walk around and look, and it'll be really nice, and your character is not visible, and that's that. You do have to hold the right mouse button the entire time you're doing this, so it is kind of annoying, but it's not really that bad. So then once you're like this, you just do what I told you earlier and hit Control and then G. And then there you go. You basically have a first person camera with nothing on the screen. You're basically just a flying camera and you can get really nice shots of whatever you want to get shots of. Get real close ups of random people who are glitching and not actually flying, but that's fine. We can go, we can, you know, get a real close shot of this girl in her book. Oh, this is a, this is a good shot. Yes. I could see this in a movie. Except to everyone else, I look like a creeper about to try to make out with this girl, but that's fine. That's why you let people know before you record them. You don't want to invade their privacy. So once again, just to recap, make sure your overhead names are turned off and your options. Make sure overhead names set to none. Then you want to zoom in all the way on your character, back up until they are not visible, and hold in the right mouse button, and then hit Control G. And then there you go. As long as you're holding in the right mouse button, you can run around the spiral and get really cool shots of stuff with nothing filling the screen other than whatever it is you're looking at. And there you go. You can be a famous YouTuber now. Yes, famous YouTuber. Yeah. <laughs> So that's that. Uh, if there's any other questions, if for some reason it's not working for you or you want to know how I do something else that's in one of my videos or whatever it may be, just leave a comment, let me know, and I will try to help you out. Other than that, I will see you next time. Bye-bye.